Two emotional words from Meghan Markle revealed about her childhood during her trip to Nigeria. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan spent three days visiting Nigeria and during that time, the Duchess had an epiphany when meeting some of the schoolchildren. Meghan Markle had a sweet realization during her recent visit to Nigeria with Prince Harry. The Sussexes spent three days in West Africa, their visit largely focused on promoting the Invictus Games. And it seems that meeting the locals, especially the children, had a profound effect on Meghan. The trip across the country was personal for the Duchess. She revealed on her podcast Archetypes in 2022 that she discovered she was 43% Nigerian, something she clearly thought about during a visit to a school. Speaking to the magazine, she mentioned the empowering message she shared with a group of young students on their first day in the country. I saw myself in them. I see the potential in all these young girls, and by the way, in these young men too. That's what we see in our children, to give them promise and excited about their future. Megan added of her first visit to the country, it was incredibly memorable and special. That alone is the best souvenir to take with you all the memories that we already have. Harry and Megan traveled to Nigeria to support the Archul Foundation's mental health initiatives for young people and to promote the Invictus Games, which Nigeria participated in for the first time last year. I am delighted with the growth of Invictus and that includes Nigeria, Harry told the publication. You know how much Africa has meant to me over the years. It's a very, very special place and now to be able to put Nigeria in, Invictus, I'm very happy. Although their tour in Nigeria was considered a success, things have not been going well for the pair recently. Prince Harry is said to still be processing the fact that King Charles and Prince William chose not to meet him when he flew back to London to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games days before he flew to Nigeria. His father is said to be busy with royal affairs while William is said to be uninterested in reuniting with his brother after his repeated attacks on the royal family. And on Monday, the Sussexes were embroiled in yet another tragedy when their non-profit, Art Ewell, was declared delinquent in the US and temporarily forced to suspend all fundraising and spending. California Attorney General Rob Bonta said the charity has allowed formal registration fees to be waived since early May. He added that the charity was not in good standing and was restricted from carrying out activities that required registration, however, sources close to Harry and Meghan confirmed that any missing records were declared on time. And it seems they were right Arch Ewell is no longer listed as a criminal, with its status on the register now marked as current according to the Ministry of Justice website.